Hi, mamas. So, 20 weeks. I am going to update y'all on that today. Okay? Let's do... Can show you baby. There we go. 28 weeks. This is what 28 weeks looks like for me with my fourth baby. It's exciting. Absolutely exciting. So, what to share with you on this update. Okay, so if you watched my pre, pre prenatal appointment video, then this will just be a continuation of that in terms of things that I did uh, to things that I've been doing in, in terms of advocating for myself with the conversations that I have with my midwives uh, when I go into the practice. So because I am on, uh, because I do tend to rotate, I do have the possibility of getting a multiple midwives uh i am i have been having one question repeatedly one conversation with everybody and that is my conversation about cervical check because it is the one thing i really don't want and so i've had that conversation with every midwife that i've met with except for one so i'm gonna have to circle back and meet with her again just to have that conversation again but i have never had a cervical check this is my fourth uh, and I've never needed to have one. And so I don't really want one. Um, however, birth center births are different from home births. So um, I've had the ability to have that conversation. And my prayer uh, is that I arrive so close to pushing or already pushing that there is no need for a cervical check. Like that the baby's head is right there. And so nobody puts their hand inside me um that is my goal and so I had that conversation with this midwife who I hadn't had it with yet and that went really well I also had a conversation with them as I mentioned to you about my desire for limited testing and asked you know is there any reason why you would do more blood work or need another urine sample or anything like that um and they said no all of my labs were normal, so there really was no need to redo any of that. So I don't have any more urine samples or any more blood samples for the rest of my pregnancy, which is awesome. Uh, I've just already determined like, okay, well then sign me up for nothing else because I don't want anything else. Uh, then I also got to speak. Um, it came to me while I was there to ask about uh, things that are in the space available during birth and what things are not. And what things I should make sure that I bring. History. So, because I have a history of a retained placenta with my second baby, my third, for my third labor, we had on hand uh, some natural medication, uh, some herbal remedy available for me to take in the case of uh, the placenta not coming out on its own. Um, and so, that being said, I... I didn't need it for the second time. I don't anticipate that I would need it for this one either. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm just always so tired these days. I, um, oh, I didn't take my iron supplement today. Couldn't be that. Okay. So, I said, so, I, she, made me aware that all they have is pharmaceuticals and so that if I they don't have a problem with me taking herbal meds or or concoctions or whatever I want to take but I would have to bring it myself so I am I'm going to bring it myself that was really helpful to know and so overall just really love how hands-off it's been really have felt the favor of God over this pregnancy it has been very minimal very just let the baby do its thing you're normal baby's normal growth is good heartbeat's good baby's movement is good and so it's kind of like okay just keep doing you and so that has been super super encouraging i also didn't gain weight which is good because uh i had been for my last for my last visit i kind of gained like a good like couple pounds which is a bit much um and so yeah so I'm all good and man I am just feeling really good 28 weeks feeling really good now what am I doing 
what else am I doing? Uh, I think the biggest thing I'm doing and been doing lately is spiritual prep. So uh, God gave me my word for this birth. So it has been made nice and clear what that is. That I'm reading the book of Joshua. I am uh, just, I, I'm just in awe of God. Um, I'm, and I'm just in this season, just trying to be obedient to what he wants me to do right now. So that um, I don't look back and feel like I didn't use my time wisely. Yeah, because there's a lot of things I want to do. See, this is my list. My list of things that I want to do before baby comes. I have it right here next to me. It's a little reminder. But that's my list. I got to make sure it's aligned with God's list. <laughs> um, anyways, that's that. Yeah, so that's 28 weeks. Now, the only thing I have left in terms of testing is at 36 weeks is group B strep uh, test. And so there's that. But we have eight weeks. <gasps> so we're not there now. And we're not going to worry about it now. I think the biggest thing right now for me to do is make sure, one, I rest my bedtimes in three minutes. So I'm going to go do that. I got to rest. I got to get the rest that I need. And I need the physical exercise. Um, I need that because I'm feeling it. Based on my symptoms, I know exactly what exercises I need to be doing. And when I do them, my pain goes away. And so, uh, yeah, there's all that. Um, when you know better, you do better, right? So, um, anyways, that's 28 weeks, y'all. I am, this is flying by. This pregnancy has flown by. It's kind of crazy. And so, I'm excited. I'm super excited. In the home stretch, a couple months left, third trimester. And let's get to it. All right. God bless y'all. Hey, mama. So, thanks for sticking around to watch this vlog of what pregnancy has been like uh, with baby number four for this season, for this time, while I'm sharing about this awesome birth story. I am offering my online childbirth education course for as little as $1 to give you access through the end of the year to get yourself educated on birth and pregnancy and postpartum so that you are, uh, you are prepared to have a supernatural positive birth experience with Jesus. And so uh, I hope that you'll take advantage of that. The link is down below. Thanks so much for sticking around to watch this video till the end and we'll see you in the next one.